Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. Thank you for spending your Saturday here with me to allow me to share some information with you. My name is Irene Mortensen. I was born and raised in Singapore in 1974, so you know how old I am. I left Singapore when I was about 20 years old, and I went to Hong Kong. I lived there for a while. I moved to Japan, and then I moved to the US, and then I lived in Germany for seven years before I came back to Singapore. I studied computer science and economics at New York University in the US, but I'm not interested in working. So I'm not an FT. I am just a not working Singaporean enjoying life. And tonight, I'm here to talk about water, but not about the price of the water. Instead, it's about the danger of your water. What are you drinking every day? The chemical in your water. I think that is more important because if you have health and a good mindset, you always have idea to make money. There is no problem. But when your brain is being poisoned, you are always depressed. You have no idea. And it seems like the world is coming to an end, but it's not. And I have good news for you, everybody. All of you that are here, you have not been poisoned by the fluoride in your brain. That's why you show up here. The rest, po fluoride has poisoned their brain, so brainwashed that they don't know what's going on. So I'm talking about sodium silico fluoride. Singapore water is fluoridated. Fluoridation means to add fluoride to the treated water, the clean water. This fluoride is not to treat the water, it's to treat the human being. It's to prevent tooth decay, a disease. Anything that is used to prevent a disease has side effects. Same with this fluoride. And PUB and MOH, they are very open about this. They have all their information listed on their website. But Singaporeans, you are too busy working, staying just afloat, your head above the water. You have no time to read what they have for you. So over there, I put up a poster of everything. To help you understand how toxic this fluoride is, this is in your toothpaste, this chemical fluoride. Does anybody swallow your toothpaste to prevent tooth decay? No. So this fluoride is in the water. When you go to Starbucks, you drink a cup of coffee, you have fluoride in there. You eat Yong Tao Fu soup, there's fluoride in there. And your children go to school. They eat in school. There's fluoride in there. All day long, you are getting a lot of fluoride in your body. And it depends on how good your body is. Those who are very healthy, they can eliminate the fluoride from their body, then they don't have a problem. But diabetic patients, because their kidneys are already impaired, they cannot remove this fluoride from their body and they suffer. They either die painfully or, you know, drag on forever. So this is just to let everybody know that in Germany, it is illegal to add fluoride into the water. 98% of Europe reject fluoridation. If you think about alcohol, alcohol and fluoride, they're both poison. But fluoride is 300 to 600 times more deadly than alcohol. Yet, children cannot buy alcohol. Would you feed your babies alcohol and mix with baby powder? If you won't, why would you feed them fluoridated water that is 300 to 600 times more toxic? And I have emailed PUB and MOH and talked to correspondent with them to ask them to please stop water fluoridation. Too many Singaporeans have been harmed. They show the symptom of skeletal fluorosis, which is very um, well known and studied in India and China where your legs become bow. Do you know? Have you seen any people with very severe bow leg? Or dental fluorosis? The children have teeth that are very stained and with pit. It's not pearly white. That is the early sign 
of fluoride poisoning. These children, later on in life, will develop skeletal fluorosis. Their leg will be damaged, and it damages the child's neural development. They become just not be able to cope with schoolwork, and our children commit suicide every month. Straits Times last year reported two young people between the age of 10 and 19 kill themselves. And this fluoride is the main ingredient in a drug called Prozac. Prozac, the generic name is Flocetine. You see, flow. Every time you see anything with F L U O or F L U, means this drug has this fluoride in there, and it's in our water. So, ladies and gentlemen, so that you are aware, what you are drinking is very deadly. But you can do something. That is to get a water distiller. That is the best way to remove as much fluoride as possible. MOH is very responsible. They put all this information on their website. They say there is four ways to remove fluoride. Why put it in in the first place? Are they not aware that Singaporeans are already struggling? Who has time and money to buy filters and deal with all this nonsense? And many people cannot believe. How can the government poison its own people? But just look at what was done in Germany, Nazi Germany, when the government were killing certain people. And I'm not sure if you are aware that there is Holocaust and concentration camp. And this chemical is put into the water in the concentration camp back in the 40s during World War II. So ladies and gentlemen, for your own health, your children's health, and your wellness, if you have health, wealth will come. You don't have to go to them. And you will have no fear. And your life will get better. But first of all, you must stop the poison. So ladies and gentlemen, you have to do some research, do some reading, and protect your body. Then we have a future. Thank you very much for your time, and I wish everybody a good evening. Thank you.